Why do the rabbis have so much power? Is Judaism just an endless friction between religious and secular groups? And does Judaism believe in a division between church and state? I'm Ellie Birnbaum, Director of Education at HUK. When I was studying criminology and social psychology, one of the questions that jumped out at me was, how do we in Western society balance the division of power between religious and secular institutions? And as a Jew living in the 21st century, do we also believe in a division between synagogue and state? For centuries, these two institutions have been vying for power and control. One believes in a totally liberal, open society where each person is free to choose their own way. The other believes that an ideal society is one that is governed by God-given laws. Join me as we explore how an innocent Hanukkah lighting ceremony ended up in the Supreme Court. And from there, let's rewind through history to the original Hanukkah conflict to explore how that split between the Jewish rebels and the Greek Hellenists really represented this ongoing struggle over the division of power who holds the key to influencing the future of Judaism as a religion and as a culture in the 21st century?